Hey, how's it going? My name's Aaron, and today we're going to go through the installation of Rocket Chat and get it talking to Matrix. Um, we're going to be installing Rocket Chat 4.8. Um, in this case, I'll be using the release candidate, uh, but by the time you actually see this video, it should be the actual fully released version. Uh, we'll also be installing Dendrite. Um, it is considered, I think, beta um, by uh, the Matrix folks. Um, and, but we go ahead and use it because it supports the features that we need as well as it, it will suit our, our future plans a little bit better. Um, one thing to note also on that, that whole alpha note is this is alpha, right? So Rockjet Matrix support is alpha. So you probably will experience bugs. So just go in knowing this. But let's go ahead and get this started. So we're gonna, first of all, we need a VPS. So we're gonna do a VPS from DigitalOcean. I've got one here, two gigs, two CPU. I found that the extra gig and CPU here made a pretty big difference in terms of speed. You might be able to get away with less, but be willing to kind of play with that because we're working with two databases here, Mongo and Postgres. Um, Mongo for Rocket Chat and Postgres for uh, Dendrite. In the future, we'll be consolidating that, but just go in knowing that. You also will need a domain name. In my case, I'm using Geek on Dev. Um, and a couple things we need to know here uh, and kind of define ahead of time. You need to know your federation domain. So this is the domain you're gonna be using when you actually talk matrix to people. Um, so let's say um, you're trying to access, uh, somebody's trying to get to you, right? This is the domain they're gonna do. So like Aaron at Geek Gone Dev, which is kind of very similar to how you'd use an email address. This is how I prefer to use it. So I'm gonna use the Geek Gone Dev as my federation domain. I find it a lot cleaner than using like Aaron at matrix that geek on dev that feels it's just not quite as easy as to remember. Um, so that's what I'm using my federation domain. You also need a chat domain for rocket chat. Um, you could probably put it here on your root domain if you really want to. I'm putting it on a separate domain. And then also we've got matrix domain. Um, so this is where matrix will actually uh, work. It's possible you could set it just to listen to the API endpoints here on the root domain, but for simplicity, I'm giving it its own domain. All right, so we've got that. We've got our VPS, got our DNS already set. Let's go ahead and grab a terminal. So here we're logging into the VPS here. And then first of all, we're going to need to install Nginx. This is the reverse proxy we're gonna use for this. In this case, I've already got it installed, so this probably will go pretty quick. Next, we need to install Docker. So there's this handy little Docker script here. Um, it installs uh, Docker and Docker Compose, one of our um, team members actually helped contribute that fix. Let's go ahead and run it. You'll see here it actually threw this little, hey, it's already exist. In my case, I've already got it installed, so it doesn't need to do anything. If you're not using DigitalOcean, uh, one thing you might need to do is run this command here. User mod dash A dash G docker. Use your username here. Um, also then, you will need to log out or use this handy little uh, new group and then Docker, which will just assume that group essentially. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to CertBot. Uh, we're gonna use CertBot for our Let's Encrypt certificate. Uh, we need to speak HTTPS everywhere, so this will be handy to have. And now that we've got that, let's head on over to actually getting the certificates. So we'll use the command certbot cert only dash dash nginx dash d. You provide your federation domain, chat domain, matrix domain here. Again, I've already done this, so it's prompting me. It'll just ask you for your email typically. Now we're gonna head on into the nginx configuration. So we're going to I'm gonna first off wipe the default configuration that Nginx provides. And then let's go ahead and hop into that file. All right, so if you're following either the blog post or maybe the Git repo that I've got, 
you'll need you can use that to find this file here. Uh, but let's go ahead and just kind of go through it real quick um, so you understand what's happening here. So here at the top we've got a block that's listing on port 80. It's basically doing redirecting our three domains, so our our federation domain, our root domain, our chat that geek on dev, and our matrix geek on dev, redirecting all those to HTTPS. Here we've got three blocks right in here. This is the geek on dev. It's only got one location here. Um, it's serving files out of the root folder here. Uh, so if you want HTML files, you can put them there. Uh, but here's the main thing we need to highlight. It is proxying slash well-known slash matrix over to Dendrite. Uh, the reason this is needed is whenever uh, another matrix server out there tries to look up Aaron at Geek on Dev, it's going to look at Geek on Dev slash well-known slash matrix slash server. And that what returns there will tell the matrix server where the actual matrix um, server is listening, which is in this case will point to matrix.geekgundev. Uh, next here we've got a chat like geekgundev. This has got a proxy block here um, going to 3000. And then same thing with matrix geekgundev. It's got a proxy, but it's going to 8008, which is matrix or dendrite rather. Okay. Go ahead and write that. We'll need to do an nginx t just to validate that uh, the file is good, in this case it is. And then we'll do systemctl reload nginx. And this will tell nginx to go ahead and reload the configuration. Now we're going to go ahead and um, the repo I was talking about earlier is here. We're going to clone it. And we're going to clone it to the matrix folder. And then hop on inside. Um, here then we want to we've got a couple files here we've got the config, docker compose, generate keys, uh, the nginx config that I was just talking about and postgres um, these are all kind of components we'll be touching here in a little bit later um, take a look at the docker compose just for your kind of sake you can see postgres, dendrite, rocket chat, mongo and then a mongo init replica set we're gonna go ahead and um, Start up Rocket Chat. So we're going to use Docker Compose up dash D Rocket Chat. We want to start Rocket Chat Mongo and Mongo init replica. Um, we don't want to start Dendrite just yet because we have a couple pieces of information config wise that we want to get and put into Dendrite before we start it up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create the containers for us here. And let's go ahead and watch the logs. Start compose logs dash f rocket chat. Nothing's actually coming out just yet. I believe it's probably working on Mongo. Yep, looks like the Mongo indexes are building. I can see a couple logs there that are indicating rocket chat starting up, so I'll go ahead and switch back over to that one. Looks like it's almost up. And it should be about to spit out the block. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and get a browser. And we'll go to chat, geek on dev. And we'll find our rocket chat running here. There's this invalid user in my case here because I've actually accessed this domain. So it's trying to use a token that already exists uh, before I cleared it. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. Uh, we're going to do Aaron Google plus uh, matrix test one. Chat. Don't spam me, please. Okay. With rocket chat, we'll use we'll enterprise, I guess, in this case. Um, other, we're about 200 people now, that's pretty cool, United States, alright, so this is the email I'm going to be registering with, so this is going to register with Rocket Chat. Looks like we've got a bit of a bug here, 
Um, not sure what's going on, but we'll go ahead and skip this guy. I'll go ahead and do it on stream just in case you run into it. Nope, okay, hold on. Fill this out. Impress. Other. Standalone. Uh, when this happens, you can actually go to cloud, dark, the chat, um, administration, TV services. You go to the cloud and get your token to come in here and register. In this case, I'm not going to bother. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but we will look into getting that fixed, and hopefully, I won't be here when this release actually goes out. Uh, so we'll go to settings, um, we'll go to federation. You haven't seen this version before this is actually new to 4.8 the settings are all kind of uh, here um, if you've been in the Federation section before there is now a matrix bridge section um, so we're gonna do a couple things here real quick uh, first of all we're going to go ahead and switch the home server domain to geek on dev the home server URL is going to be dendrite as the name of the service in, um, in the Docker Compose when we start it up. Um, the bridge URL is actually the bridge runs inside of RocketChat itself, so it's just going to be localhost here. I'm going to save this. I work out flash back and forth. I'm going to go to enable. Save. Let's go ahead and refresh to see what's going on there real quick. Okay, looks like it should be functional here. Okay, a um, couple things you need to take note of here is the home server token and the app server service token. Uh, we'll come back to those here in a minute. We'll leave the screen up. Let's go ahead and close this. And we're going to go in and edit a couple files. So we saw earlier the config folder. So we're going to go ahead and go edit config uh, dendrite. Here, you'll, if you had a, uh, you want to modify this to use yours, um, your federation URL, and then the well-known server name here, we'll, you want to update that to your matrix. Since mine are the, what they should be, I'm going to leave this alone. Now I'm also going to head into rocket chat dash registration YAML in the config folder, and we're going to make a couple modifications here. So, first off, we're going to go ahead and grab that home server token. Home server token goes here in the HS token field. App service token. Go down and let's uh, drop it in here. And we're going to leave the URL as is because it's going to Rocket Chat. That is the name of the service object there in the Docker Compose, so that should be where Dendrite is able to find Rocket Chat. Okay, and finally we're going to do a generate keys. This is going to generate the private key used to assign messages, basically authenticating that it is coming from um, this home server here. Um, you'll see it generated a TLS and CERT. We don't actually need those um, in this particular case, so we'll leave those will be. Uh, now we are ready to start up dendrites. So we're going to docker compose up dash d dendrite. Dendrite depends on Postgres, so Postgres is also going to go ahead and start up. It does wait till Postgres is healthy, which is now healthy, and dendrite is started. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the logs. Alright, so we've got dendrite up and running. Now, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. We're going to go back over here to Rocket Chat. We're going to create a new channel. I want to make this in public, and I'm going to call this RC Matrix Org Fed. 
So in this case, we're going to try to federate with matrix.org. I've got a user over here called geekgondev demo. So we're going to go ahead and try to speak with that one. And hopefully it works. So we're going to do slash bridge invite at geekgondev demo colon matrix.org. This is how you'd refer to servers um, out there. All right, looks like it's inviting, and we got a Dean. Awesome, so this means over here in element, which I'm using to talk to matrix.org, uh, I've got an invite from Aaron at Geek on Dev. Wants to talk to me. See the channel name, RC Matrix, matrix org dash fed. I can also see that uh, user there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey, matrix.org. Ding. Okay, and then hey, rocket chat. Ding. There we go. We have set up in under 20 minutes. The um, actually just barely over 15. We set up rocket chat with Matrix, and we have managed to talk to Matrix.org. So that is how we get up and going with uh, rocket chat and Matrix. Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, until next time.